Okay, guys, a lot of guys have asked me this, and uh, like I said, this is not the finished product. It's just kind of where I'm at. Uh, this is my 43-foot um, 05 antenna that I've had ground-mounted for years. And uh, like I said, here's the uh, driven element plate. It's up against the bottom of the driven element, the original driven element. There's the coax connector on the base part where I've got my ground radials hooked and it's hooked to the rest of the ground radials. All right, here's these spreaders. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is 12, 40, 15. Down here uh, is, is uh, tw this is 20. That's 10. Now this one that's stuck way out there on that little extension spreader, I kept having trouble getting 17 meters to tune anywhere near where it was supposed to be. And for some reason, it's not really a harmonic, but for some reason, 17 meters does not like this 43 foot pole. So I had to move and extend it out and now I've got a great SWR by having that extended out. So anybody that's thinking about doing this, when I give you measurements, you've got to realize that depending on how you do yours, what kind of wire you use, everything you do on this antenna changes something else usually. Uh, that's probably the reason that the, the guy in England with the fiberglass poles, even though it's a whole lot easier with them, did a lot of hours of research to find something that, like he says, is repeatable. Well, anyway, let me show you what I got. Uh... The 12 meter ends here with a little bit of bungee cord. Right here, this is a 12 meter. This one below it is your 40, uh, 15 meter. This one here is your 20 meter, which goes on up to a little piece of bungee cord right there to the, uh, the third spreader up. This is your 10 meter. This is your 17 right here going. It stops right there. Okay, now here's the neat thing. When you go up with the 40 meter, it goes all the way up, if you can see, through all three of these big spreaders. Comes up through here. I've got it tied off with this one here. It goes back down. Uh, goes anywhere from half an inch to probably two and a half inches spread. And then it's linear loaded right here. Now I could, I did not want to put any more uh, aluminum on this thing because as this antenna is alone it's good for 90 mile an hour of course with all this I have it guide so what I did was to add some length I just put an old radio here I'll fix this more permanent later and I've actually got it hose clamped here to the aluminum with a little bit of conductive grease and a piece of wire comes down here like this all the way down here and it's tied off it's linear loaded so you can look that's probably about 12 feet maybe of wire extra but it gets my swr fantastic so i don't know what all questions i can answer i just drilled a bunch of holes because look i'm not selling this i just want the thing to work so i don't care if it's kind of ugly uh but it works and i will fix this later with some permanent or i might just put two screws through that two bolts so it doesn't move around and spray paint it because this is a aluminum i mean a vinyl siding trim that's what i used to make them out of and uh like i said i put a few more ground rails and that's another thing if you get all your swr adjusted the best you could do and, you, and then you put 30 more ground radials on it, it's going to change because you're improving the efficiency and you're also going to, it's also going to somewhat adjust the frequency and everything. So the best thing to do is get it kind of in a ballpark, put uh, as much, uh, getting it adjusted as you can, and uh, then just play around with it. Like I said, uh, I could use this antenna right now with not doing anything else. Every SWR on every band, uh, 
it is below a 1.5 and uh, uh, so uh, I you know I'm happy with it but like I said uh, I, I kept and here's another thing I want to tell you you see I've got these uh, extra screw places here well I don't even have the the 75 80 meter wire on here I'm sure when I do it's gonna change things but I tried to move the 17 meter before I, I extended it away from the pole, I tried to move it over here and it threw all these off all screwy. So I put it back and I got to really thinking about it. I looked at my harmonic chart, which I've got, and I could not find a harmonic. I was thinking maybe 17 meters was a harmonic of 60 meters somehow. It, it's kind of close, but it's not there. So the only other thing I could think to try, because all the others were great, just 17 meters, and I wanted 17 meters to work, because it's not linear loaded or anything. And and everything I tried, I, it was always saying it was too short. And, and so uh, then I tried it another way drastically, and it was saying it was way too long. I could never get it close. So once I put these out here with a regular cut quarter wave, it came out almost perfect. I mean, absolutely almost perfect SWR. I already adjusted a little bit. I think at 18.139, uh, at, uh, I think the SWR is like a 1.38. So I'm very happy with it. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on YouTube and do a link because it's too long to put on Facebook. But just so you see, all this is going to be done better later. Once I get the 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 geographics of all this right and i got these off of amazon i like these better than the little beads because you can take them on and off i just got little stickers on them i ordered me some uh some uh, waterproof uh type uh, uv protected stickers to put on there but uh like i said this is just a nine inch plate you still got the price tags thing on there and you can get them off of amazon for two dollars and something and uh so, like I said, this now, you know, let's count them for you. This is now, this is one band, 43 foot. This is your 60 meters. This is your 40 and your 15, so that's three bands. This is four bands. This is five bands, six bands, seven bands. And when I put the 75, 80 meter on here, I'll run it over here to a tree and that's going to be eight bands on one antenna. And I don't think you could ask for anything better. I don't care if it doesn't tune on six meters because I'm going to build me a, 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 a six element Yagi for that. I don't care if it doesn't tune on two meters. But if it does this, I'm going to be happy with it. So anyway, any of you that have a 43 foot vertical at a minimum let's say you don't you you keep it looking pretty and you don't put an extra extension on here at a minimum you can get all bands to work on this except for 17 if you don't do this now there may be another way i haven't i haven't tried around i i haven't tried linear loading the 17 i may be able to do that and get it to work i didn't even try that but this was a quick fix and if everybody knows uh, ugly doesn't affect RF at all. It can be as ugly as it wants and it still works. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps. Uh, I just got some clamps on here to kind of hold it from moving. And uh, I hope y'all can see those spreaders. The spreaders are about 23 to 24 inches from here edge to here. So it, the, the holes are in about an inch so they're about nine to ten inches away from the pole and i found out if i had them any closer i had a lot of trouble with the interaction between the metal pole and the uh the wires but once i made these bigger spreaders i didn't have no problem with it so uh anyway uh wj6a i hope you enjoy that and i'm gonna put it back up and put it on the air and uh, it's getting late and i gotta get all my tools picked up uh, but 73s and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope this helped you i'll give y'all some measurements exact measurements uh and, and i'll explain to you how i'm gonna do that it's an old 
old technique you take a piece of string you start at this end down here you run it through the hose so it lines up and you tie it off there and then you can get a real good measurement without taking the wires back off and that'll give you a starting point because like i said every one of these has got some kind of fold back on it this one's got a little bit longer one but it doesn't hurt nothing and uh like i said uh once i get all that i'll get it rolled up but uh anything you can find i, I found a, a plastic supply place that you can order a sheet of this 24 inches by 48 inches which will give you two of these spreaders and that's going to come out to be uh, the, the there's 32 dollars, so it's going to come out to be 16 dollars a spreader i had this stuff for free so it didn't cost me nothing but if i had to i would have bought it but that's still cheap but anyway wj6a hope you enjoyed this